fucking community. <laughs> Listen to a, uh, you know. Rescue. What have we here? It would seem I have chanced upon a collection of travelers. This is just. It would seem I have chanced upon a I would like to formally invite all of you on a journey of discovery and darkness. Do you think you are worthy? Do you deem yourselves competent? You. Are you yourselves competent? You. On a journey of discovery and My friends, please allow me to introduce myself. Journey of discovery and darkness. Destination is the Great Southern Mine. There, with the help of the mine, we will investigate whatever the miners have discovered. Some, so whatever the old ancient seal. Before we depart, some notes. Listen carefully. Just and my is a story-based tour, and as with any real tour. In the real world, I ask that you stay with me. But please, reel your lag too far back. I venture. Stay with me. You do not want to end up alone where we find during our adventure. Stay with me. Hold music. Want to immerse of level. Don't use blue statuses as the event will be private. And please set your eyes to something plain. Stay with me. Light, no sounds, and not too tall, please, as atmosphere is important. Things can get rather cramped. Sounds. Now, you may also not too discouraged to have an echo effect, as while you are most welcome to talk amongst yourselves as we walk from place to place, please do consider that you could get rather cramped. And kindly refrain from speaking whenever we stop for the race. Please do consider the unique acoustics of the map. And kindly refrain from speaking whenever we stop for the race. Please do consider the unique acoustics of the map. And kindly refrain from speaking whenever we stop for the race. Please do consider the unique acoustics of the map. And kindly refrain from speaking whenever we stop for the race. Please do consider the unique acoustics of the map. And kindly refrain from speaking whenever we stop for the race. Please do consider the unique acoustics of the map. And kindly refrain from speaking whenever we stop for the race. Please do consider the unique acoustics of the map. And kindly refrain from speaking whenever we stop for the race. Please do consider the unique acoustics of the map. And kindly refrain from speaking whenever we stop for the race. Please do consider the unique acoustics of the map. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yep. All right. I should be able to get you in now. Please give me about 30 seconds to enter the world, and then 
send me a friend or an invite request to join where I am. Just a moment. Perfect. You have a weird sense of humor, Ragey. Thank you. I've had many years to work with. Okay, so you, when, <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let me think of a thing. Oh, oh uh, there is also a link in the traveler's chat of our Discord, just in case for some reason it doesn't work when you send an invite request to me. Alright. Well, well, yeah, there are a lot of people. It's good to see you. I don't know. It is good to see you. I know that I have uh, it. I know that I have it. Yeah, I have it. Um, how do you get guitars back? Luna pulled me try. back into Final Fantasy XIV. More of them. That's about to change, my oh, boy. That's what... <laughs> yeah, no. the world is I can, I can decline Steam goods. I don't think I have anything that... Do I ever say it'd be through Steam? I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know how to gift that shit through Steam. <laughs> well, it looks like it might just be a... Oh, well. Wow. Oh. Guess I'm free to play. I guess I'll die. <laughs> I mean, okay, then. have you guess made some of the uh, I've got like 20, nope. 20 oh, minutes I'm just doing it. Aren't we all? Like said, my you? What about this one? <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> what about this one? Yeah, I, 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 the I, job I, description in front of me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a metal gen. Whoa. I take that as a no. <laughs> We have streamed. Oh, yeah. No, I thought it was pretty cool. I just thought that <laughs> I was on the C key, not the B key. Ow! You <laughs> screwing you, okay? That whistle hurt my ears. Probably because the echo. People down the stairs. I'm just. Oh, okay, that's fine. I don't, yeah, I don't think I have any others that would there are be, be viable for the taking. Why are there people downstairs? Hi, chat. Thought you. Right here, it's here. Is actually here? Uh, I'll just fly yeah, Brindizio's here this time. Yes. There's a new menu so, segment in the world's area. He must be required for the metal. But... Hey, dude. Are you sure? Hey, dude. No. Hey, dude. Nice. Are you ever sure? Hey, dude. Hey, dude. <laughs> Not really. Okay, then. Again, I want to do it. Too late, I did it right here. Yes, you can play with my hair. You can also play with my hair. Who's Who's playing with whose toes? What? I was new to the Tail. Honestly, it's, 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 hard, it's getting harder and harder to say this is a wholesome community every time. Nine. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. My mom about to beat me five, like. Five. Four. <laughs> three. Two. One. My friends. The story. Begins. He called us friends. Just in time. No ribbing. Welcome. To the great southern mineshaft. 
the archaeologist has spent weeks crossing uninhabited mountains to come to this place. All the excitement that had slowly dripped away during his wearying journey rushes back as he descends this first ladder. The archaeologist is a young and talented man, a pupil of knowledge, a bright, promising mind, and the assistant to the professor. The professor had arrived a week prior, and should be waiting for him somewhere below. Together, they are the first in the field to see these newly discovered ancient sites in person. The archaeologist is excited by the chance to finally prove himself to the professor. The foreman of the mine meets the archaeologist, and they converse casually as they descend to the first level. The concrete shaft smells of grease, smoke, and sweat, and all the miners are wearing masks that obscure their entire face. My friends, please watch your step this way. Raving and Trust me, watch your step. I've learned that the hard way. Step, 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 step. Yes, yeah, step all over me. Step, 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 step. Pull up. Who allowed the horny soup can in here? I rolled in like a Campbell oh. soup commercial. Field box. Voltron, over here. Okay. I should probably change his helmet just in case. The Got foreman it. explains that the professor is just ahead, but he stops by the supply room and has somebody give the archaeologist an oil lantern, a safety helmet, and a flashlight. The archaeologist also notices a heavy steel door with armed guards standing either side of it, also masked. But the foreman pulls him away before he can give it any more thought. Do take a look as we pass, my friends, here on your right. But we must keep moving this way. It's gonna get very dark. Finally, I can actually stand up. Lines. This is yep. dark. <laughs> very dark. It's dark. Just like my soul. There should be a toggleable jump scare if somebody ever gets past the tour guide. Oh, this is all yeah, just that like would be really That's gonna be very hard to do due to latency and reason. It's gonna be that hard. Yo guys, we got the dung eater today for our stream. What's poppin' dungy? I got a pistol. If anything jumps up, I'll shoot. I have a sword. I'll stab it. Not a good idea to be shooting in an enclosed area. Hey, it's pistol. Like ah, that shit's loud though. Hey, I don't know if I have a built in sound system. Don't take it. This is the perimeter. Oh, excuse me. If you're wondering what the mechanic for actually getting to the surrounding is, it's not too great. Yeah. Because you're full of shh. Nice sword. Alright, um, what is that notification? Hold on, I got a straggler. Oh. There he is, the man himself, the professor, kneeling outside what appears to be a line of wooden stakes. The archaeologist, eager to learn, 
ready to prove his worth, excitedly greets the professor. The professor does not return the greeting. He does not stand. He does not lift his head. Instead, he continues to sketch. And he says that he is now standing in what he has named Ritual Cave 1. And he promptly gives the archaeologist a task. My friends, this is your first quest. Listen carefully. You are to collectively observe anything unusual or noteworthy about the unnatural features of this room and come back as a group to describe to the professor what you see. To those who have done this before, feel free to stand aside. You have a few minutes and your time begins now. All right, well, okay. Man, this would be such a bad ending. Do as the professor does. This, it's already, we're already on the path to the bad ending if it wasn't for us. I know, right? Ouch! Fire hot! <laughs> kind of funny to consider. Professor, no likey! <laughs> Trajan, I'm curious if you'll tell the group. We've um, got the outline of a wall <laughs> over here. Can I even use the uh, line? Uh, not the uh, that speech you can't be cheating. Is that you don't have the wall there? You know what that is. I feel like he has the high ground and you don't, so you probably shouldn't try it. You don't see the other people on the structure laid about here because it's not the way out. Hey, don't go ahead. I also found the jam as the arm, and don't say what. Wait, it's more fun when you do it. What? You know why? Yeah, so the so mechanic so for getting any anything besides the bad ending is only not oh, stepping yeah, past good. these stakes. So you can go around like this, yeah. like this yeah. like yeah. but you but you can't yeah. step in the air. That's okay. Cool. Yeah. I just kind of did that nice uh, so okay. from. So you're telling me that someone's just trying to get out of everyone's way. So you're telling me that wait, so the instructions were to get D did say to go around. Not to go in. Did he actually say did did Trajim actually say that? I don't um I don't remember the, the, na the narration specifically. If I remember the, the narration, the hint it's was like, do as the professor does, and he specifically yep. says kneeling outside it's a like if you look at it, uh, it is yeah. the stakes. <laughs> That's actually a good hint. I didn't realize that that was the specific dialogue. It's a little bit hidden. It's a little bit hidden. Yeah. 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 Yes, this is the simplest tour by far when it comes to the defense yeah. for getting yeah. the ultimate yeah. so, no matter what. Got you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So how long did it take you guys, how many minutes Welcome back. did it take you guys to realize? Both of you? Uh, 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 I'm in like a lame until the pattern here. And this it stops April, here and goes around. Yeah, did you like start it in line? Yes. And Diesel was here. Gravy. Um, well, he was here. So he's gone now? <gasps> oh my god, I can actually scratch your hair now. Holy crap. Wait, what? It was like you can scratch the hair? Yeah, because Avatar Dynamics. Do it. Oh wow. Sounds about right. My friends, your time has expired. Travelers, your time has expired. Please return here to me. Friends, your time is up. My friends, my friends. Yeah, My friends, they, they the, the only stakes are here. Time stopped. Oh. Your time is out. Oh, sorry. Now, a few volunteers, if you would. Sumo Cow, your hand went up immediately. What strikes you about this room is unusual. And, uh... 
the stakes in the perimeter seem that, uh, stuck in the rocks as if they'd been there before the rocks, even passing through the, uh, the stone pillars. Are you suggesting that the wood was placed here before the structures formed? Uh, perhaps. Quite an alluring prospect. Anybody else offering your thoughts on the matter? <laughs> Who's jumping? Something gaming. <laughs> Gordian gaming. Uh, Gordian, uh, just call me Gordy if it makes it easier. Um, <laughs> I've noticed that all of the wooden stakes are in sort of a square formation and broken off. So it occurs to me that this might have been a cage for something. A cage? Gordy, if it makes it easier, I think that's the first time I've heard that theory. Thank you for your thoughts. And I'll take one more volunteer. No, I mean, I can, I can say it, but Crazy. it's... Lumpy. It's like, Go kind ahead. of like a red herring. Oh, I thought you were uh, I don't know if it's like, like in purpose or not. <laughs> because you have like, uh, I mean, it's normal for cage to have like all this sh um, crystals <laughs> and all that uh, water falls on. It's I'm not seeing any of that. Um. Oh, I mean, I I did. It's. Mm, Fuck, it's so hard. Yeah, it's so well, hard. Well, my friend. Um, it's probably a red herring. Mm-hmm. We have heard three opinions. And the story continues. The professor cuts off the end of the archaeologist's answer with his own. Oh, please, he says. It is quite simple. A square of stakes, an elevated stone platform, and five primitive sacrificial piles. No more, no less. The professor apologizes that the archaeologist came all this way for nothing. He tells him he is welcome to wait in the supply room, whilst he finishes the studies himself. The archaeologist feels his blood boil, but he bites his tongue and leaves the professor be. My friends, this way. Oh. In case you get lost. Oh, Denied. You guys get dark. I mean, yeah, but don't worry. Uh, I got night vision on this thing. Alright. Master G. 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 Master Answering that question with what okay, the uh, um, with what, yes, yeah, with what the, with what the professor I have, was, what, I've done, what I've happens? done that. Um, Gio, what he, he he basically gets angry for mocking him. You you just ran into a wall. Oh wait, oh, he just ran into a wall. Oh, oh no, Trey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's why we're going to have malfunction. I was asked to turn it off. Don't you know that he is? I mean, the poor guys are immune to him. Yes. Apparently so. Except for the swim gym. I want to be immersed. You don't get the point. Okay. Slime into a snap gym. I'll throw the mighty cube. Praise the cube. Wrong cube. Wrong cube. Wrong cube to praise. Praise be to the hyper cube. We praise any cube. Okay, so that means you praise, praise that the gelatinous cube. Yeah. Yes. yes, we praise the yes. cube. <laughs> My friends, the story continues. Back outside the supply room, 
The mountain wind whistles in the distance. The archaeologist overhears some of the miners whispering about some sort of magnetic disturbance, a barrier preventing entrance to something ancient in the forbidden lower floors. The archaeologist cannot resist. He didn't come all this way to watch the professor draw a pile of wood. He did not spend countless nights scrutinizing research papers by candlelight, toiling away in unforgiving desert heat, fighting off dehydration and fevers and bandits and wild beasts and malaria and avalanches and starvation to watch the professor draw a pile of damn sticks! Ow. <laughs> I gotta I'm say that's funny. Shh. That is funny. Shh. Oh. <laughs> Twix. No, 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 no. The archaeologist knows what he must do. He will descend the great southern mine shaft. He will make the new discoveries. He will overcome anything for the recognition he knows he deserves. Yes. He will become the professor. When the guards are not looking, the archaeologist slinks away and descends. Ah, uh, time to crouch again. Oh boy! Here we go. Watch your hand. I thought you'd be fairly adept at crouching, Delta. I like sticks. Yeah, but it gets tiring sometimes when you have to do it when you have to do it. Honestly, don't like getting pulled to do something to this. I fell. You enjoy doing your crouching more <laughs> recreationally. Uh, that was a completely hurtful ending. I like being more reckless. No. Not what I'm told you. I think I've seen you do worse, though. Listen, there's nobody down here, no miners, no professor, no howling wind, only the stench of smoke and grease and cold, comforting silence. He lights his oil lantern and begins his own journey of discovery, giddy with anticipation. There's a cube over there. You see that? Oh boy! Oh boy, a cube! Oh, there's a cube! Holy shit, a cube! Oh, 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 get the cube! Oh boy, it's so much time! <laughs> I'm not going to start the hater right again. If you look on your left, you'll see rocks. And if you look on your right, if you look on your right you'll see rocks. rocks. So very oh, and if you look between a rock and a hard place, rocks. then... If you look down, and you lose the dark, there's rocks. If you look, in the if you look to your left, you'll see some rocks. If you look at the back, it's rocks. If you look at it yourself, you are rock. So that means we're er, er, in between a rock and a hard place. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yes. Mr. Dorito Man. My friends. Yes. Watch your step. Just ahead. Delicious. Is a spike trap. It would spell a painful end to this new adventure. But do take a look as we pass. For the trap seems entirely undisturbed. 
Yes, the archaeologist is confident that he must be the first one to have come here. What if we Wouldn't all we jumped in? Has that anyone sounds safe all for. jumped into the spike trap? Like so so it's it's like yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, if we all no. jump in there, aren't we like a suicide squad or something? Who are we killing, man? If we jump in there, aren't we like some sort of man. suicide squad? So is it just the first one, or do you have to stay out of the barrier on everyone? Mm -hmm. The ones oh, where we're like, shit, here we go, we go again. But oh, all around, yes. Stay out of the square. It is seen. It gets out of the sacrificial square. <laughs> Unless you want to be sacrificed! I'm getting some great serious deal. deja vu right now. You mustn't disturb the square, or else you will, un or else you will be a part of the cube. Because one square or the court, Lord, is one square. Oh, yes. It's oh, that can be really bad. Uh-oh. I had a reference to the other two. Where is the pumpkin? Yes. You'll see him next door. Okay, there we go, Gord. She said we still got some people coming in. Gord, Lord, or Lord? Did they all fall into the trap? Gord, Lord, what is happening in there? So when's the wedding? Uh, Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis. You saw nothing. I'm buying him dinner first. My friends, the story continues. My friends, please remain close to me so that you can hear when we are going to continue the story. The Encephalon has observed your choices, travelers. However, it will not allow any deviations from the mimetic recordings. Thus, the story continues. The archaeologist finds himself in Ritual Cave 1? No, it cannot be. There is no sign that the professor was here, and he didn't even... What was that? The archaeologist looks across the cavern at the far exit, and there stands a man, one of the miners, simply standing, looking at him, his face obscured by the mask. A minute of still silence passes. But just as the archaeologist thinks on what to say, the miner turns and leaves. Hmm. Perhaps he was wrong. He shouldn't be surprised there are miners down here. But the archaeologist feels he should watch his step. He presses on and decides to inspect the cave. My friends, this is your second quest. Please do not leave this chamber. However, you are to identify the unnatural details of this room and determine to what degree they match Ritual Cave 1. You have two minutes starting now. They said there were five funeral stacks early. I wonder if it's the same number. That's my favorite thing to do with FPT. Just turning off the AFK no. detection and just clear. <laughs> yes. We sir, I did the squats again. Oh no. Well, she was doing his opening speech. Copy wasn't here, why? Because yeah. I must grow strong. I mean, yes, but... Smiles and I are still sure. suffering from last week. I actually don't know what that sign means. Um, I think they're loading what happened last week? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a different knife.
Like, I'm pretty sure the, uh, Smiles and I went why? ham on the... I just the told you why, because I must grow stronger. <laughs> oh, uh, I think they're gonna join off of you. Oh, because I say, I like you're still bad. They're, they're your friends. Uh, one of them. Okay, right? Also, yeah, I more because I was prepared. Also, fan uh, thrill. It, I lost a bet. So. <sighs> you lost it. Yeah. Oh, oh, understand. Also, understand. unfortunately, unfortunately that particular part of his body is interactable. Thank you for the compliment right. at the very least. I was trying to convert the conversation away from that. Yeah, let's talk about his voice line or any of these. Could you all stop it? Yeah. I tried to change the conversation. It is straight up high here, but it's appreciate it. It's jutting out from this. This hey, welcome back, Violet. I <laughs> regret <laughs> ever you know placing that bet. No, no, no. Let's all stop giving trophies and gender discord. Yeah, that's just how it goes. I got a new Chicago Bulls Halloween costume. Or is that like my name? My name. My old friend who challenged me to a game of Yu-Gi-Oh, we decided to put a stakes on it. I lost. Mega Man. So I'm stuck in like this for a while. Did you have a good one? Did you have a good one? Yep. I don't see your avatar anymore. I mean, the thing is, did you guys go to your own? Did you actually pull on Exodia to win? Nope. No. No? Oh. He was playing a meta deck and I wasn't. But I was just making it, but I failed in the last draw. Like, I actually threw together a deck of the like, right for a week just this oh. morning, and, uh, as, a person, as a person who has yeah, regular, who has regularly legitimate uh, myself, I don't know how many times, I think I'm up to I'm not sure how you felt the old thing. You'll get used to it. Yeah. Freaking exhausting. Friends. Travelers. Oh, Archaeologists. Oh, so pupils. Hello, students. Explorers. Your time has expired. Well, as before, let's take no more than three volunteers to give their opinion on to what degree this matches the other room. I see Delta Frame, your hand is up. An open, an open cavern all the way over there. An open cavern all the way over there? That's where the other miner went. Was that there yeah. in the other room? Nada. There was no light I there. I see. And it looked to be blocked off. Very well. Gordy, if that's easier, I'm going to pick different people if that's all right. Oh, that's fine. DJ, is your hand up? Uh, it was, but I was just going to mention the same thing that Delta had. Very well. Apologies. Anyone else? Azrael. I'm fairly confident that the rock formation for the dice was shorter last time, and also there was a larger hollow area under it. Hmm. Ah, a different dice, perhaps. Huh. We have some astute observationalists here. Huh. And one more. I can't raise my hand, so I'm... But I have Ether has Ether Ether over here. Yes. There are no differences. There's the same five piles and the same staked ring and the same raised platform. Are you saying this is the same room or simply identical in appearance? Identical in appearance as Well, surely it can't Very well. be the same room. Just let him. Just let him. <laughs> Thank you, friend. After a short while, going over everything he can, the archaeologist determines that 
Any similarities are a coincidence, or perhaps intentional. But the room is physically a different room. And so, he names this space Ritual Cave 2. He is confident that he has made a new discovery here. But, if he goes back to tell the professor now, he will be scolded for descending without authority. No, he needs something more impressive. He decides to continue. This way, friends. Oh. <laughs> uh, are we allowed to mention our uh, observations about that fact? Has been taken or not? Let's call it. Oh, Grant Framing, you're back. Favors the bold. Hello. We call it a legendary individual. My, my helmet's flashlight is not having a good Oh god, I'm in the panda. Just touch the grace. Yeah, just touch the grace. Slip your crypto. Sorry, what, what's happened? Nah, drink lean. I don't think that's how soda works. 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 A little scuff, but yeah. You were a second side panda, yes? Hey, aren't we all little Scott? I tell it Is it alright? I regret nothing. Oh god. Okay, Yoda. Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh my god. Okay, that was What is Yoda's favorite car? God damn! I can't even escape my workplace on the weekend. I might lose my mind before this turn is going to be a horror story. I know. Yoda has possessed three people here. Gremlins in the wall. Oh my! Oh wait, stop! Oh fuck! Hmm, this, this is strange. I wonder what this can mean. What? Oh, hey, wires. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yep. Why is it? Why are there in? I think we're all in. I think we're all here. Is the place cold or is it just me? Maybe. Oh, not done it now. Right on. Oh. Really can of tomato sauce scares me. Oh, huh. The archaeologist finds himself back in the central mine shaft. He can hear the miners above and below him. It doesn't sound like the professor has noticed he is missing. And so, he descends to the next floor. Uh, going down to the pit. At least this one isn't covered in flesh. Not quite. The fuck? No, Wait, what? Did something just explode? Doesn't everybody have fun in the flesh pit? I advise, advise fellow travelers. Hey, oh. hey, I had to handle so many abyssal isopods because of that place. I am... I'm not going back in there again. Wait, what place, huh? I'm not going to the pit yet. Flesh pit. I am not returning that to that flesh pit. It's all spontaneous. Good Never fair enough. Unintentional co-creation. Yeah, pretty much. Especially after 2007. <laughs> it is really good. Are we missing some people? Lumpie, uh, this to the bottom. doesn't seem right. <laughs> Broken <laughs> bars. Is this part of the mine? There are no miners in this particular section. The archaeologist pauses to listen. Ah. 
prosperity, ever so faint, a distant hum, a droning sound. He proceeds with great caution. <coughs> hey, Tricky Cat. <coughs> what? Could you do me a favor real quick? Could you say what could possibly go wrong in your most enthusiastic voice? Yeah, yeah, you're welcome to talk as long as we're moving. Just you gotta be quiet when we stop. Looks to be lights there. I get the feeling the dog never broke out of those cages back then. What the? I suck. I don't want to have to deal with a horror creature. Okay, it's time to look. The Elf Crate and others. Oh, look, we're in. No. Praise Cube. Praise Rectangle. Praise Hypercube. Praise the Cube. Praise the Cube. Praise the cube! 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 Praise the coming from the generator in the small room back there on the left. Well, that must be keeping these lights on. He decides to rummage through the larger room, where perhaps there might be something useful lying around. As he does, a question swims to the front of his mind. Shipping crates. Why shipping crates? He double checks that there are no miners lurking around and finds a crowbar and carefully pries a crate open. Inside is not what he expected. Dozens and dozens of ceramic humanoid figurines, some large as a skull Others no bigger than a knuckle bone. And they are old, very old, with flakes of paint barely holding on, carved elaborate patterns denoting various styles of clothing, quite unlike anything he has seen before. The only aspect of the figurines he finds baffling is the faces, or lack thereof. While the rest of every figurine is rich in detail. The face has just one dot for a mouth and a smooth blank surface where the eyes should be. It feels wrong. It feels so very wrong the archaeologist puts them all back and closes the crate, and then realizes what this might mean. He might not have been the first one to explore these ancient tunnels. Yes. He's not alone down here. He sees it just as he lifts his head in the very corner of his vision. A miner peering through the grimy window at him, mask covering the face. He vanishes as quickly as he appeared. The archaeologist stands and dusts his gloves. So he's being followed? Observed? Just what are the miners up to? Did they not want him to discover this place? Or did they perhaps intend on it? Well, nobody is stopping him. He must be fine. Yes, everything 
is fine. So he proceeds deeper. Oh, boy. God, if we, if I find out this is freaking burning this area. Don't worry. I have the feeling that... Oh, shh. I'm not doing this one. You got mine. It's even worse. I'll protect you. Maybe it's not. Tricky Cat will not be doing mine. No, I'm fine. They're a very good drug-free cat. What kind of lines are we talking about? Like, voice lines? V-line, Tricky. V-line. Yes. Oh, I remember this cave. Oh. <laughs> some, some temperature to it, like maybe a bit of cold. Ooh, left twitch right yeah, probably so a bit cold. cold. <laughs> you guys I inhale cold. both of them at the same time. Inhale. Correct answer. Very nice. Who, who just said Tricky Cat will not be doing lines? Who said that? <laughs> He misheard me when I said vines. Like, I got vines! See? Uh huh. <laughs> no, somebody said do the line, tricky cat. See? I was saying, I won't do lines. This is a joke. My friends, the archaeologist has come upon a much larger cavern with pathways high and low. He wants to find a tunnel as high up as possible. In a moment, you will be free to explore this one chamber. But please do not use any of the exits you find. Simply have a look around, and then locate an upper tunnel and gather there. You have a couple of minutes to explore. Look! <laughs> Secret? Banana. Ha ha ha, very funny. Shut it. Secret, 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 secret. Secret, secret, secret. Tunnel. Oh, I don't really know. Banana. I have gathered you all here today. For our Lord and Savior Cthulhu. Yeah, why are you trying to be some sort of creepy creature? Praise be Cthulhu. Oh, Cthulhu. Praise, oh, praise, praise be Cthulhu. Be Cthulhu. Yeah. Tell them Wait, that you are not the ghoul of the ghoul of the ghoul. You are an. Just in case my flashlight goes out, I need to recharge. This is. Nice, nice, drunk. In his bowl and everything, so. Hmm? Fuck. Your flashlight hasn't worked at all, Farmer. No, no, no. It's all about the ghoul. What kind of cults are you trying to raise, boy? I'm, I probably I'm, I'm, it, it's Cthulhu, you know? Everybody knows Cthulhu. Cthulhu's there. The old mighty Cthulhu. The eyes turn completely white. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Oh, Seriously? Yes. So what do you say? Uh, wait, are you, are you even alive? Oh. Yeah, take a picture of the eyes being completely white. Stop. Stop. I really... I'll have so much work to do tomorrow to fix this. That's oh, oil. It's alright, bro. You missed it. Oh, Lines. Yeah, this line is going up. Oh, Lama, yes. I'll, I'll probably be able to contact you probably like Monday or Tuesday. I was just kind of using it as like, hey, come on. Let that be right. How do I hear it? What's wrong with my app? I'm going to be busy on Sunday. No, I was working at 10 and I didn't know. Oh, okay. You're looking right now. Who's dying? <laughs> uh, on the And they're just messing around up there. They're praising Cthulhu. Uh, Cthulhu. Uh, and it wants to start. Yeah, that was like supposed to be a New Year's Day 13 meeting, but then he said Cthulhu, and I was like, damn it, wrong place. Who says about blocking? God, though, I'm, my mind keeps going back to the states, though. Like, Oh, I keep thinking that they might have been <laughs> some kind of cage. Or they broke. Alright, we'll get the answer. <laughs> Me. Emoji. Hey. Don't worry, we'll get the answer. Just like in the P3 game. Is that <laughs> a good reference? Oh my god. <laughs> Me. I, I, I get it. Right now is wondrous. Speaking emoji. I love it. 
I don't know. I heard like a few people don't really like that one. Children? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm a yes, child? I mean, yes, I'm, I mean, yes, I'm a child. child. It's fine. Basically, I'm mean, not. Most of us, regardless of age, most of us behave like yeah. children, so. Uh, okay, six. More six. Yeah, yeah, more yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, truly, it's more drugs. Yeah. I'm not the only one. Hey, this cave is pretty real. Travelers, we love us. Down the stone butthole. Yep, that's true. Hey, this, ca hey, this cavern is so Although sometimes we have trouble finding the right one. Holy travelers. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah, not this fucking thing. Oh, we're gonna just talk to them or something. Oh, God. Fuck this. No. Hey, so. Here we go again. We just small people. Okay, I gotta try and get this. Small people. We just small people. I don't want to talk to you. Guys. Oh, shit. Please wait for everyone to catch up. The group tends to stretch out rather long like a slug in these tunnels. I call me a slug. Eh, pour some salt on it. Why are you calling you a cheetah? I call me a slug, man. I ain't calling you a cheetah. I'm gonna find something to push my limbs off of. Oh, just wait till I turn it off, it's so My friends, <laughs> the archaeologist sees a challenge. Old wooden beams he can use to cross this pit, lit from above by... Daylight? Daylight this far below the surface? Hmm. The archaeologist perishes the thought and crosses. My friends, please proceed at your own pace across this simple parkour challenge and wait for me on the other side. If you require help, help will be provided to you shortly. Fear not, we will all I cross got this. and I will go last. Okay. The jump is pretty good. It's at least two, no, not like three is the magic number. Yeah. Goofy jumping. Oh, thank you. Okay, third try. 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 My friends, to those who need it, a flying avatar will be made available to you shortly. I have a flying avatar now. What do you mean? Oh, I VR jumping sucks. Yes, it does. And I just bounced off of a wall that wasn't there. Look at your feet to be more precise with your landing and try to jump to the opposite wall each time so you don't over jump. It just won't let me jump. Go, Leon, go! You got this. Hug to the wall, remember that, come on! Doritos, just imagine a big bottle of Mountain Dew on the other side. <laughs> Just imagine you're down to the sand! Some kind of creature? Just imagine your mom! He's got two little chips in the bag, he can't, he can't make it. Crowd, Xbox Live, Modern Warfare 2 Lobby, full of people. No, 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 Halo. All saying that they've banged their mom. <laughs> Those Doritos are gonna be Halo's much Sure, we'll go with Halo. Halo is. I don't know. I don't. I've never played Halo. Call of Duty is a bit. Call of Duty. Call of Duty is weird. Halo has probably like equally as bad as like Ace Chess and like Call of Duty. Probably less salty. Probably like a little bit less on the salts count, but like, but the insults are intense. The time I played was on Halo 5, which I sucked at, so I got mocked relentlessly. 
You're not hugging me. I'm personally upset that I failed to do that. Yeah. You're not giving me one. Yeah. Yeah. Part four. Yeah. Adoration. He's cool. Kiss the wall. Cool. What the hell? Exactly. Don't, don't do it. Yes. What Give it is that? Rob. That's how I made it. Nice. <laughs> what, what is that? You just got a fucking taxi. Oh, okay. oh, what, what is that? that? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, like, that's crazy. Easy taxi. You can do it, Michael. That is absolutely <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Yeah, cave, cave explorer. <laughs> I missed it. Oh, oh, oh. What the fuck is oh, happening? Oh, <laughs> you did it. There you go. You the flex. You took my advice. Good job, Oliver. Yeah, very nice. Oh, nice. I knew I hugged the wall from the, from the get-go. It's Michael just a matter of the head to actually fucking work. I didn't know you were part of Mountain County as well. You took my advice for once. England. Hey. A very, yeah, maybe you a should take more decision to make most cases. cases. Ooh! I uh, know. <laughs> How do you achieve that? Well, first oh, you gotta yeah, do some stretching like exercises, ball. and I mean some very good stretching Ooh, exercises. I'm a visual learner, by the way. I feel like cloning is much easier. Though. <laughs> I'm a tactile learner. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't hurt. <laughs> felt powering. I'm an aural learner, and that's spelled A U R, not O R. That sound. I'm gonna cross this gap, guys. Just speak it. I have a sub mystery. Real puzzle. <laughs> gotcha. I also, well, I have Why would you tickle a brain? You are meant to sound. Why wouldn't you? Don't worry. Tickling brain? It's like it stimulates. It's like brain stimulating. I am a man of... Yeah. Now here's my mm. question. You said... I don't want to know your case. The brain test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. That's another weapon type. What do you think it'll be? I don't want to add my helmet on. Because this barely hurts. I don't... Exactly. Oh, uh, sir, don't don't, don't bring out the pacer oh, test. You're giving me PTSD. It really hurts. Get on. Apply directly to the forehead. Get on. Apply directly to the forehead. Get on. Apply directly to the forehead. Now available at Walgreens. I always fail. I hear that. Trey, Trey, Jim. Trey, Jim. Trey, Jim. Trey, Jim. And then I collapse. Trey, Jim. 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 The story continues. The archaeologist steps into... Wait. No. No, it cannot be. Can it? He must.
must find out. My friends, your third quest. Your task here is rather simple. Identify whether this room is the same as Ritual Caves 1 and 2. You have two minutes starting now. Hmm, yes, very gray. It's very cave-like. I see two pillars. In I an see exit. Space? Are you mad? You can make it, I believe in you. I need to be in this avatar. Hold on, give me a second. Sounds like a new problem. Me bad. Wow. Poles or something that, uh, uh, like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. So here's the, here's the true question. Why tree is in the That's fair, it's pretty difficult. I mean, 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 I'm going to sacrifice well, the sweater. Oh my god. I will see him again soon. I'll be looking forward to the return. My friends, travelers, your time has expired. My friends, on my end. Please come hither. Your time has expired. Thanks. Let's do the story. All right. Now. No more than three volunteers, please, to give their deduction. Zhongxi. Zhongxi, I see you jumping. Go ahead. Uh, I see more sticks in, in this area. There's one in the back. There's, I think there's another one over there. Yeah, I kind of noticed there's more sticks in here. Are you referring to the stakes in the ground or the piles of wood? Uh, oh, there are stakes, yes. There are stakes. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't know there were stakes. I see. Thank you very much. Another volunteer, please. If you raise your hand, please make a noise as everyone is a blank grey avatar. <laughs> Over there somewhere. Space Cadet, you whooped. Go ahead. Skin bum, dada. <laughs> it's all the exact same. I don't see any difference at all from the last one. It's all the exact same. Interesting. And one more, please. Mm. Well, two is good enough. Try. Oh, apologies. No. I can't see your hand up. Please make a noise. Lady Juliet, go ahead. Um, it appears to be like a large circle of some sort, so maybe it's used for something like a spell or maybe something for like a 
To contain something, maybe? I'm a little big for this. A spell, you say? You're telling me? I mean... How very curious. <laughs> I feel like I need kindergarten well, again. the archaeologist's <laughs> knowledge doesn't quite <laughs> enter that realm. The only difference is that there isn't little kids trying to pet me all the time. The archaeologist checks the room over and decides that this is a separate, yet identical room. Which <laughs> it's a incident. Confused. Yet intrigued oh as to what lies ahead, <laughs> the archaeologist proceeds, knowing that every step takes him closer and closer to a grand discovery. Yes, we both had the idea that we might need to. Have oh, we just not gone to the yet, or are there no hallucination sections this time? Oh, really? No. This one, this one is very I remember uh, last time, like, the archaeologist would hear something. I don't know if I'm yeah, that's replaced yeah. by us. Yeah, that's replaced by us actually seeing the like, pirates running away. Bucket, 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 Fucking, 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 dear God. God. I gotta see. That means you want 13 ah, it's, it's no. No. What? No. There's more. No. Uh, dear God. No, you're off. It contains a fucking By 12. Maybe it would. You never know. They might like I cannot be manipulated, you say? Yes. I throw a I am free from the elbow. Plus others. Well, then you are at risk from smiles. Your finger is not wet. <sighs> what the fuck? Oh. You are at risk from smiles, man, because they yeah, are. Everyone's phasing creature. through you. I can't even see. Oh. There we go. I'm trying. <laughs> Queen will take the picture. Mm. Could you not? My friend, <laughs> this story continues. The story continues. Praise the, the story Lord. Continues. <laughs> What is this? So, the miners have clearly descended this far and used this very bucket to lift something out of here. Well, the archaeologist has one guess as to what this was used for. Still, surely there must be something they missed down here. After all, what do miners know of ancient civilization? Even with the professor's help, they are no match for the archaeologist. He will earn the recognition of his peers, and perhaps even his superiors. The professor is going to regret shoving him to the side like a discarded rag. Pride goeth before the Ah, uh, yes! Greed and jealousy, <laughs> the cause of death of any, every single person yeah. in existence. Back the same way. Why are we helping this guy? I take offense to that zone, Chief. Good question. An excellent question. Yeah, I mean, kind of not because of time. I mean, not all these girls can deal with the cat. Because this is the only thing I can do on the side. Go this way. Also, why is it a tiny thing? Why not? Yeah. Oh, no, yes, we were, it does. That was for ferrets yeah. only. Yes, it does. There's actually a game of that. Tables are always nice to have. And I am not the narcissist either. Please wait here. Bam. Please gather here, friends. Please wait here. Or else. Wait here, friends. Gather here. Wait. You who is that? The archaeologist sees someone standing on the other side of the pit. No. Two people. Miners with their masks on.
They turn to leave, taking the right tunnel before the archaeologist can begin to scramble back across. My friends, I will see you on the other side. Ye yes, sir. You shall not pass. Okay. I have a feeling the miners are gonna be the faceless doll things. Yay, we're entering cold territory. No, 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 no. no, we find out there's like, no, we find out there's the uh, enemies from Metal Gear Rising. Shut up, Rex. Oh, no. Stay up, sir. Oh, no. 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 Think about it. How about you back it up with a source? Do you know what happens to the archaeologists in the battle? How about back it up with a source? He stepped over the wooden pillars and he turned into a doll. Chuck, the internet lately. Jack, get on Twitter. If you remember the localization, I am an of the archaeologist. I hope that chat wheel is not to make But right then. Oh, 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 Okay. I don't even remember hearing oh. that. Oh. 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 Getting dimmer, his eyes were getting washed over or whatever. Oh, like he was getting blind? <laughs> remember at the end, the professor says, the lights are on. Even if you can't see. Well, he was getting blind. Let's go. We're entering cold land, let's go. Cold land. I thought you were going to say we're going to Cleveland. We're going to encounter Cole, a cold. <laughs> no, we're going to Brazil. You sound very cold. Oh, I hate Cleveland, not Brazil. But there's no, there's no group of friends already cold. I like that. That's very good. We, we worship uh, the Nano Cosmo. Now my home's a bar. We have statues and Bibles of her, so yeah. Now <laughs> in the main shaft, the overpowering stench of smoke and grease returns to the archaeologist. He can still hear miners all around, noises in the distance, echoing voices, clanking machinery. Looking down now, there is but one more floor. To the pit! Voltron, I am a firm believer of... That way we're already in the pit. We're equal many floors. We're going, we're going to the top of the pit. Life has many floors. We're going to the actual pit. 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 There are many dollars, Ed boy. Many dollars, yes. Who's that up there? We got a couple people. That's my horse. Yeah, you're right. Probably. Oh my God, it's the panda. Or maybe this is the gateway to hell. I mean, it's a great. It has to go somewhere. Oh my God, this is great. How do we all jump on this simultaneously? Where? Oh, that's a great idea. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> nice one! Oh, you, you I'll put my gramophone on it. I brought my gramophone just in case. <laughs> Alright, Indian, yeah. that's one too. What are you trying to do? You're trying to, you're trying to scare me, dude? My friends, this is it. This is what the archaeologist came here for. Something occurs to him. He looks up, craning his neck to see the top, and he spots him. The professor looking directly down at the archaeologist, defiant. The archaeologist rushes onward.
To the cave we go! This is my rushing pace. Am <laughs> I still there? I've been expecting you. I'm calling it. <laughs> Hey, I am just see Jimmy and all we have to say is, hello there. Well, hello there. Hello, hello there. Hello, sir. General hello. Kenobi. General Kenobi. Hello. Okay, it just sounds like you're having arthritis. That's why the thing of that line is that he improv, or he improv that line. <laughs> That's the best part of it. Wait, really? Yes. <laughs> he didn't know what to say, so he jumped out he's like, hello there. Hush, everyone! I don't know, I can't, I can't do it with a finger gesture. The only thing I can do is do a peace sign with that, which is pretty cool, because it means, like, hey, too late. He's trying to figure out who can be grabbed and who can't. Yo, peace is better than you. my power. What? The archaeologist comes to a large cavern. Apologies, friends. Narration has begun. The archaeologist comes to a large cavern filled with pillars and precipices, stalactites and stalagmites. My friends, in a moment you may also explore this new space, but please, do not enter any tunnels or leave this chamber, but do see how many other exits you can locate. You have a few minutes and your time begins now. This looks the same. Parkour, parkour! I can parkour! I can parkour! I can I can parkour! I parkour! That's not a escape tunnel. That's just the way up there. Oh, I didn't expect that. I fell. There is no help for you. Oh, that's mean. There is no help for any of us. We are all scared. Oh, God. Come on, pull I cannot get over. I should not have floated. I hate to do this, but no! so, uh, how many times are to go? Yeah. I have to step out? No, no, uh, why? It didn't jump. Controller, come on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I see. <laughs> Nice. There are a lot of Nice, bro! Oh, well, one problem, I'm going to do what all gamers do. Oh, I'm getting impatient now. I'm getting sloppy. Yeah, I see someone already climbed up. Yeah, Jake is fine. Right behind you, bud. We're moving on the first track. She took him. I'm single and I'm ready to mingle. Damn it! I'm back hey in the market. I'm having. A, I'm having. Living my best. One more year of life. Ah! Ah! Oh no! My car broke. I made it. Oh, I need to find power. It's called the Halo game engine. Two extra capacitors. Oh, fine. Fuck this. Fuck this. Yeah, quick. Grab my table. <laughs> Yeah, I got the table, yeah, I grabbed the chair, and pulled it over me. <laughs> it's a magic table. This way. Parkour, parkour. Alright. Orange lantern. Uh, we yeah? How are we supposed there. to get up there? Yeah, oh, wait, around there. Behind the side. Hold on. Looks like, it looks like yeah, it looks yeah, like we're in this territory. No, you miss the lights during the tour. Who's me? Who's me? Who's me? Are you have been banned from the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse for bad need assistance, Ray Jake? You have been banned from the daycare. You have 
Oh no. He's dead. Oh no, there was spikes down there. Uh, oh, help! I am still alive! Mm. I am in very much pain! He's dead down there. Help! I got one. Is that supposed to hurt? How I'm glad you didn't die there at all. That would have been very heartbreaking, honestly. Oh, don't worry. I, I broke my leg. Look, this is the girl I met. I had over like 50 people pass. That's the end of the booth, right? I know that my name is Finger, like the glitch out. I hope the uh, second date goes well. I'm a three year old parent dating an either 16 or 19 year old girl who can't tell the difference. It's okay. I'm three. That's 40 and very years. So I'm kind of classy. Get the, get the young ones. But I'm also three, so it's legal. Yeah, I have to get out of here. I have to get Got everyone? Awesome. Let me get out my phone. Yeah, I'm sorry. You have to walk around the columns. The cave is what's different every single time. Travelers, please. Travelers, please. Gather round. God, why is there a sniper scope on that? At this point in your adventure, it is rather important that A, you do not go one step ahead of me when I move, and B, you remain completely silent for narration, for the end draws near. The archaeologist comes to a large cave, and he can tell where he stands. He laughs aloud to himself. Surely this is some cruel jest. Or is he going mad? He perishes the thought, and looks about for the miner he saw before. The shadows of the large cave shift and dance as he sweeps his lantern from side to side. Every little noise is echoed, amplified to the point of being unrecognizable. His heartbeat sounds like a tiny man inside his ribcage, rhythmically knocking, hammering, trying to escape. Then he sees something. Another tunnel. He switches off his lantern and quietly creeps toward it, holding his breath. And then we see it. Oh. 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 O
Uh, yeah, yeah, we're not there yet. We would have. There's still another. Let me find it. Alt. I use mistake. Perhaps me want. Perhaps me want take sauce. Yeah. What? What? Huh? Ooh. Long tongue. Oh. He went the wrong way. Okay. No, he was just. Uh, no. We have, we have to return the other direction. Yes. Trajan never goes the wrong way. <coughs> Trajan oh, never goes the wrong way. He merely takes me. Yeah, it was the archaeologist that went the wrong way. Ritual Cave Five instead of Ritual Cave Four. Oh damn it! I had to break my. I had to break the handle engine again. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Shit, here we go. There we go. How no. is not doing well for my body. No. I didn't take the wrong turn. I changed my mind. Oh. Okay. <laughs> there are no accidents. Sage never makes that. There are no accidents. My friends, I confess, a small piece of dialogue was accidentally skipped. However, it is unconsequential at this point. We will continue from normal once everyone arrives. <laughs> okay, you, are, you won't be getting your ass beat. <sighs> raise it, raise it, raise cube, raise it, raise it, raise the cube, raise it, raise it, raise it. Tell them no need to be rude. Just at least say please, please get your. What? What? Please get yourself here as best way to sit. I actually can't even. I actually don't even understand what you just said. Like you were that cutting up a lot. Mr. Banners. The spider. That never works. My friend, <laughs> as fascinating as this interaction is, please follow me this way. And as I said, do not go ahead of me. Roger that. Okay. Roger, Roger. 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 Stop being B1 battle towards. And most of you guys are probably no. killed. Roger, Roger. <laughs> Roger, Roger. Don't worry, besides you, L. Don't go any further. Roger, Roger. Do not do not fault. God damn it. Do not fall. Halt. Because it will ruin the immersion. I can't even see. Do not fall. I can't even see it. But do not fall down the pit. It's funny how many people can follow for simple instruct instructions. Yep, 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 yep. yep. No, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up the pit, back up the pit. I'm, I'm, okay, there it is. Failing at simple instructions is a VR traveler's reference. <laughs> I can't get too far without falling. There are too many people crowding it, including me. The archaeologist. Comes to a pit. An eerie orange glow emanating from the bow. He slowly, slowly moves toward it. And Whoosh! The archaeologist stumbles just in time to avoid a pickaxe swung wildly at his head from behind. He lands on his side and turns to face his assailant. The silhouette of a miner stands over him, face obscured. Pickaxe raised high for another blow. You have to die, screams the miner. He said it would work. He said it would work. You must die. My friends, you have a choice to make. Will the archaeologist fight back against the frenzied pickaxe-wielding miner? Or will he attempt to flee and escape the mine? Fight back. Fight. 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 Fight.
Mark, you can't just force my friends. Friends. It doesn't matter. Unfortunately, I have a lot of skills. has observed your choices. However, it will not allow any deviations from the memetic recordings. Thus, the story <laughs> continues. Oh, I thought that's would work. The archaeologist doesn't want to die. He has come so far. Seen so much. No. Determined, he aims a boot between the miner's legs. But his aim is off and he kicks the miner's leg instead. The attacker twists to the side as the pickaxe comes down, cleaving the cold cavern air. There's an enormous crack as the pickaxe strikes the safety helmet at an angle and bounces off, flying away out of the miner's hands and into the stone wall with a clatter. The archaeologist scrambles to his feet, grips the flashlight so tight his knuckles whiten beneath his gloves, and slams it into the miner's helmet. His attacker is dazed. He strikes again, and the miner stumbles, staggers, and slips. In a flash of remorse, the archaeologist grabs at the miner to stop his fall, but he grabs at the mask. The strap snaps, and the miner topples and vanishes over the edge. A moment later, there's a thud and the sound of ceramics shattering. Mm -hmm. huh? A few moments, I didn't the archaeologist mm -hmm. sees black as dizziness momentarily overcomes him. And after a few deep breaths, he recovers. He sits back, panting heavily, his body filled with adrenaline. And he creeps ever so carefully toward the pit's edge and peers over the side. At the bottom, the miner lies motionless. The archaeologist can see, instead of eyes, there are just holes. His skin crawls, the air becomes deathly cold, and everything goes dark for a moment. The archaeologist thinks of the professor who mocked him, pushed him aside, made a mockery of his life's work. He picks up the flashlight in one hand, the pickaxe in the other, and he leaves the cavern. The professor has some answering to do. Ooh, well, Ooh. Hey, Moida. So it's I guess you avoided someone again. Wait. Wait, the miners are the things. Hello. Yeah. Interesting. We're getting all the back up. That is interesting. We might be. That's going to be a long trek. Hmm, Does anyone have any friends? Yeah, have some really. capabilities? No. Uh, I couldn't get to handle oh, games. I couldn't get to handle games. Oh, oh I've oh, fallen yeah. and I can't get up. I hate it when I'm falling and I can't get up. Oh no, my knees hurt. <laughs> I mean, we might come across the professor. Oh, okay, that's a problem. On the way back, like he followed us and, you know, we're gonna. Head him off early. You don't know. I don't think we're killing the professor for something. No, it is the new thing. Sure? This, this is definitely a different, sure. different ending from. How do we kill the professor in the good ending, then? I will say nothing. Get a blast the professor. Yeah, because we haven't seen it yet. Look at the recordings. Exactly. There's another or ending. Don't burn your brains in and we eat it. It's a good ending. <laughs> I mean, I've mm. seen all, I've seen all the endings for this Perhaps one. This is definitely new to me. 
This is actually yeah, my first story for these it. guys. Yeah. Oh. This has actually never been seen before. I know. This is my third time. Yeah. Why it's yeah, so no, exciting to me. Yep. I might be holding this gun a bit too close to my face, but I'm sure it. <laughs> Why are these stairs exhausting upward? <laughs> when they <laughs> weren't downward. <laughs> <laughs> Not a machine, son. <laughs> oh, jeez. I am, I am tiny mode. What do you expect from me, equal? Imagine. More squats. Whatever. <laughs> More squats. What are you talking about? I just have magic powers. Yeah, stupid to Carly. Squats. <laughs> Being tall is a bit difficult because of these dang pipes. Uh, you Sucks to be you. Yeah, it's definitely a you problem. <laughs> I only shot you because I knew you would survive from that. Yeah, he's a robot. Gee, that shape things. looks familiar. I, I wonder why. Why do people keep calling me a robot? I'm a human in an armor. Well, well, it's thick enough well, for metal. As well, the archaeologist thick ascends, oh. the miners see him coming. They see the pickaxe in his hand, and they all steer clear of him, keeping watch from a distance. They appear terrified of him, and rightly so. As he passes by the supply room, the armed guards call out to him, but then drop their guns and scream. They wail in terror, cowering in the corners of the room, begging to be spared. The archaeologist is confused, but has no qualm with these particular men. He keeps moving. Uh, did the archaeologists go through a different transformation? Did the archaeologist may have become a monster? Damn it, Thor. He yeah. might have become more like the archaeologist because we're in VR. Yeah. The archaeologist. The archaeologist. The archaeologist. The archaeologist. Maybe the real archaeologist was the French man. Hey, long way. You know, you're the one carrying a pickaxe with murderous intent. No. What? Enough with the boomer. Maybe the real murderous intent is the French man. Hey, long way. God may forgive, but I won't. Lord have mercy. I mean, he count his cows. Here we go. May the Lord have mercy on your soul. New ending time. Oh my God. Lord have mercy. The archaeologist can go no further. For here stands the professor, his face covered by a mask. The archaeologist demands answers. The professor looks at the pickaxe and the weaponized flashlight, and then up at the archaeologist's face, and takes a step back, dropping the sketchbook he was holding. It cannot be, the professor mutters, almost tripping over his own foot. And then the archaeologist catches his own reflection in the professor's mask. He does not see his own face. He sees shadow rippling like broiling storm clouds. The archaeologist is baffled. How did this happen? When did it happen? What did he do? And then the realization slowly sets in. 
like cement and the archaeologist succumbs to the reality of the situation. He is the demon. Something flashes before his eyes. The professor has lit one of the pyres. Stay away from me, cries the professor. I'll send you back. The archaeologist doesn't know exactly what the professor is doing, but he knows he must stop him. My friends, this is the final battle. You are going to decide, as a group, what the archaeologist will do each round, and the professor will react to your decision. Your goal is whatever you think it is. Your choices are as follows. Attack. Shadow. It's Moonlight Sword, boy. Mother's Talk. Instinct. You have 30 seconds to decide. Let's start with a tot. Taunt. Oh, this is wrong. Taunt. Taunt. Tonto with shot and fire. Tonto. Show me your boobies. Tonto. Show the hedgehog. Everyone doing an inverse of the final battle that leads us to the good ending. The roles have been reversed. We should shadow. Yes, I agree. We should shadow. No, I want a taunt. I like taunting. Taunting. Your time is up. Yokai of Hikari, do you speak? Uh, yeah. Attack, shadow, taunt. The choice is yours. All hail, shadow. Shadow. The archaeologist, for some reason, begins to chant, and from the short the corners of the room, shadows slowly begin to grow, eventually filling the whole space. The professor, in the last moments of darkness, skids back to the pyre he just lit and faces it directly, risking burning himself, but filling his vision with light. He is unaffected by the attempt to stun him. The next round begins. Attack, shadow, or taunt. Teabag. You have 30 <laughs> seconds to decide. Interesting. I'm not going to... Teabag. Never taunt. Never taunt. Well, we Never got a taunt. taunt. If you taunt to light another fire, he lights off by fire. He's going to be So attack. Attack. Continue. Dab on him. Fortnite dab. Just default. Strike. Ah, yes. Nullifying any options that we create in this attack is head on. While if we attack first without the knowing, we might. I've done the other side of the It doesn't matter. My friends, your time has ended. Little duckling, do you speak? Yeah. This is your time to shine. Attack, shadow, or taunt. Attack. Both end. Attack. Using his immense shadowy form, the archaeologist demon swiftly jumps in to the professor and strikes at him. The professor takes the blow as he tries to stumble, but he's old and slow. Your attack succeeded. The next round begins. Attack, shadow, or taunt. You have 30 seconds to decide, and your time starts now. Full on attack. You know we can taunt. Shut up. Okay, we can say that. Let's get back to the attack. Let's get back to the attack. I always want to send some away from the highest maybe shadow with more. Let's get you. Let's get you. You like shadow. Have you considered that maybe we should win? I guess we'll go with shadow. It's a predetermined ending.
So Shadow, the purpose of taunt is to get yeah, away from the fire. Yes. Yeah. Whatever we do does yeah, not matter. Shadow or taunt. taunt. Cha no. Shadow or taunt. I go Shadow. Yeah, I go Shadow. I guess we'll go with Shadow. Let's try all the options. Let's just... I mean, we already smacked him. He's stumbled, so... I, I wanna... Yeah, I do, I do wanna yeah, try, but... Yeah, yeah he's on, stumbling, Shadow. so we can oh, Shadow him now. Taunts, perhaps. Oh, Shadow. 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 Cowabunga it is. I, mean, I do want to talk uh, to him. Oh, I was gonna say, do we really want to win? Well, the cat's taunt. Good question. I mean, the professor's well, the kind of a dick, to be honest. Well, the cat's taunt. Yeah, but we're a little we're demon. demon. Neutral yeah. ending. That doesn't... Ending okay. Yeah, fuck him up. If we're having a neutral ending, there might be Your several neutral endings. Your time has expired. Okay. Well, two, technically. Shouldn't he send him to Jesus? Happy Will 16. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. 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 Oh, we got a taunt. Shadow or taunt? Taunt. No. Taunt. Very well. Yes. Happy Will 16. What is your taunt? What do you say? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh I didn't expect that. Oh. 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 Is this really what this, this is, is all about? Just like me stretching. Is this really what this yes. is all about? Come, pow. This taunt is ready. ready. <laughs> Yes. What? I'm I'm serious. Very well. It, it's with the oh. taunt. The taunt has been received. This is what happens. Seeing the professor try and go for another pyre, the archaeologist demon panics a little and spouts out in a hideous voice. Is this what this is all about? The professor, preoccupied, trying desperately to light the pyres, doesn't. Oh. Stay focused on his task. He stops. He listens. What did that mean? And he fails to provide a comeback. The professor is stunned for a round. Look at you, oh. Happy. Very nice. The next round begins. It may be working. Attack, shadow, or taunt, and you have 30 seconds to discuss. Well, I sorry, he's he's done. Done. To make the professor okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I think, I think we should so we just yeah. shadow him now or something? Well, if he, yeah, he's already yeah. stunned, yeah. so if we shadow him, then we just like, yeah. probably yeah. like knock yeah. him out yeah. non-lethally, I guess. Yeah. 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 This, this yeah, is what yeah. you get for for, for, for being condescending to a bunch of a uh, bunch of uh, yeah. men. <laughs> okay, but you understand. I've been I've been listening at the entire thing. I guess Chad. I know. I know. I'm just I'm getting tired. Yeah. We should taunt. Yeah, since he's stunned, it gives us a chance to see what Shadow would do without repercussion. Um, yeah, oh, sure. if, if you like. Uh, that seems yeah. I guess we'll go with Shadow. What have you done to me? Yeah, let's go with Shadow. Let's go with Shadow. Yeah, that would be a good taunt. Yeah. Travelers, your time is up. Same Ethan, one, do you speak? Yes, I do. Attack, shadow, or taunt. What will we do? Uh, shadow. An excellent choice. Shadow. Stop giving me an upskirt. Very well. The archaeologist begins to chant, and once more shadows swell from the corner of the room, quickly consuming this strange space. The professor is helpless to do anything about it. The darkness strikes him. He is stunlocked. Another free round for the archaeologist demon. 
The next round begins. Attack, shadow, or taunt. What will we do? I think we'll attack this time. Okay. Yeah, Does anyone yeah, else agree? Uh, See, I will yeah, communicate. Yeah. Slap his shit. Pew, pew. Full on attack. Man's a stun. Man's a stun. Mind us all. Do the default <laughs> dance or something. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a time. I've been patiently anticipating for this. Oh, yeah. Uh, attack. Yeah, Full on attack. Yeah. I swear. Uh, Full on I'm attack. I'm not gonna say anything. Full on attack. I won't give my own. Yeah. Act on the other one. Act on the other one. Act on the other one. Act on do you speak? Uh, sure. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Doritos bag? Well, I can confirm uh, that you are in fact speaking. What do we do? <laughs> uh, well, um, in the words of Shao Kahn f f uh, from Mortal Kombat, finish him. Attack. <laughs> okay. Okay. Dunkley, Dunkley. You got this Doritos bag. <laughs> and this is what happens. The archaeologist, seeing another chance for a free maneuver, stomps toward the professor, who is stuck in place, petrified with peer, fear and some sort of dark magic. Peer. The archaeologist demon towers over him. He rears back one arm. And swings it across his nemesis. The professor goes flying backward, and another part of him goes flying in another direction. His arm comes oh, clean oh. off Ooh. and slams into the cave wall at the back. The professor screams yeah. and scrambles to his feet, but he is still alive. My friends, this is almost too easy. The next round begins. Attack, shadow. Yeah, I don't like taunt. it. I think I know. Do that again! And I really don't like it. It's good to see you, though. I don't like this. It's I'm not gonna say. Take care. I'm gonna have an idea. Oh my god. 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 Let's be glad. Yeah. 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 I got a great yeah. song. Let's be glad. Yeah. Yeah. I got a great way to talk. Why? Yeah. 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 Where's my arm? Nobody cares what you say. Nine 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 the choice is in Bonk. your hands. Bonk him. This Give is him another attack. Very well. Oh, dear. The DPS is incredible. This is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds sorry, different. I, I said shadow to attack position. Oh well. The professor is scrambling, panicking, de desperate. Crawling toward the next pyre, ready to light it. The archaeologist reaches him in a single step. He lifts up his mighty shadowed foot and brings it down. It is instant. Ritual Cave 1 contains only the archaeologist demon, a single pyre, Frackling, 
and the lifeless body of the professor. Yes. And the archaeologist relishes in the moment. Interesting. There is a noise from nearby. The entrance. The other entrance. The steel door clangs open <laughs> and out charge two men in protective suits with flamethrowers. They charge into the room and spew fire across all the pyres. The archaeologist tries to launch toward them, but it is too late. He finds himself unable to move. This must have been the professor's goal. The pyres all burn brightly together, brighter than fire, brighter than daylight. It is as though the very sun itself is filling the chamber. The archaeologist feels both his body and the demon within him burn at the light. It's too strong. It's too much. He gives in. He lets go. The blinding light is the last thing he sees. And his last thought. At least the professor paid the price. So, he burned an old It was like waking from a long dream. He dreamt of a horrific demon. A demon who lived in the remnants of a great body made of both flesh and steel, who tore his heart and body apart. But it remains just a dream. And yet, the vision remains strong. Deep within the corners of his mind, he hears it calling. A different world. A world of silence. A world of darkness. He moves toward it, filled with both fear and exhilaration. He succumbs, and the darkness welcomes him. Finally, we reunite, the demon says in a screeching hiss. You are the one. And reaching deep within his own mind, he realizes this is true. And then, in that moment, reality washes away, and the dream begins to take shape. My friends, travelers, Welcome, for the first time, to the neutral ending of The Archaeologist. Yes. Woo! 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 I suggest we take a group photo to commemorate this occasion. After which, I will hand you over to Sheen, who will handle some announcements for you all. So please, stick around until then. In the meantime, can I have some volunteer photographers? Praise the cube! I can do it. <laughs> Praise the game! Yes. Yeah. 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 Very well, thank you for your generous offer. Friends, let's line up here in the light. 
where the archaeologist demon made his final stand. And thus, where he died in holy fire. Please face the direction where I was just standing. Sam, okay, please coordinate us. Die in holy fire? Okay, come here. I hear you, I, I hear you, I'm here. Oh, I know we should say right. Darkeologist. <laughs> Darkeologist. Okay, this is it. Can I have a seat? Darkeologist. Let me part of the picture. <laughs> My friends, I beg your silence. Okay. Mr. Banker, are you ready? Please. And, yeah, I think I would like um, the others over there. Could you move to the side? <laughs> come in closer, friends. Huddle together. Hey, compress. Huddle yeah, to the cube. Off my head. <laughs> the cube is warm. Let my gravity draw Guys. you in. Violet uh, pack. Voltron, you're too That's massive. Bit, so Voltron, you're too fucking the... fat. Violet. My friends, I can't hear the photographer. Please. I'm you okay? Here. And yeah, this is alright. Uh -huh. This is perfect. Everyone ready? Yeah, here we go. My friends, what are we saying on the count of three? Archaeologist. 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 Very well. One, two, three. That's a guy who works in a cave mine. He's probably muscular. We have some announcements for you, old friends. That's brighter than daylight. Yes. Clapper. By the two. We have some announcements for you, old friends. That's brighter than daylight. Yes. Clapper. By the two. We have some announcements for you, old friends. That's brighter than daylight. Yes. Clapper. By the two. We have some announcements for you, old friends. That's brighter than daylight. Yes. Clapper. By the two, we have some announcements for you, old friends. That's brighter than daylight. Yes. Clapper. By the two, we have some announcements for you, old friends. That's brighter than daylight. Yes. Clapper. By the two, we have some announcements for you, old friends. That's brighter than daylight. Yes. Clapper. By the two, we have some announcements for you, old friends. That's brighter than daylight. Yes.